One of the most amazing stories I've ever been involved with revolved around a pole vaulter who was moving towards the Olympic because it was an Olympic year. Each week we went through a different greatness press. When we came to the last week, the week of the National Indoor Championship, this Tuesday in practice, he shatters his pole and the bottom of the pole hits him right between the eyes and, and just goes right up through his skull. He's in a pool of blood. EMS comes in. They don't know if he's broken his neck. He's unconscious. They take him to the hospital. He goes into shock. They air vac him over to the Kansas City Trauma Center. The next morning I heard about this. I was teaching class and I was finishing my class to run to the hospital. And then I got a knock on the door, opened it, and there's an unrecognizable individual with a turban of gauze around his head. His eyes are swollen shut. His face is black and blue, and he's got a smile on his face. He sat down. I said, what are you smiling about? He said, I'm going to jump with 32 stitches in my head, and I'm going to have a testimony that these greatness principles work. There were three guys in him. He comes in at 18 feet, and he makes it on his first attempt. One of the other guys misses. They go to 18-4. One of the guys misses. Pat makes it. He goes to 18-8, his personal record, the stadium record, and the meet record, and he makes it. The guy that he's competing with barely makes it on his last attempt. They go to 18, 11 and a quarter, new stadium record, new meet record, new personal record. And there's Pat, and he makes it on his first attempt. Personal record, stadium record, meet record, and he wins the National Indoor Championship with 32 stitches in his head. And he says, I've got a testimony now. These greatness principles work.